Okay, this is my oil mixed with cream. I've already got my lye with water mixture over there. I put the water uh, put the water in the bowl and then I put the lye into that. You never put the water into the lye. That would be dangerous. And you can see the oil and cream separating. This will help keep it more together. And I don't have my gloves on yet because this is just oil. Okay, now I'll bring you back when I get the lye mixture ready to go in there. Okay, I've tested both the oil and the lye. And they're both within 10 degrees, at least, of each other. So now I'm going to pour this slowly onto the thing so it doesn't splash. That's all the lie. Okay, so this. This is the towel. See how long it takes to trace. It's olive oil, so it would take probably longer than the other. For the oil to come up, oil to come up to trace. And make sure you keep the blender down in the oil so it doesn't splash all over. Cord. It is getting thicker, but it's nowhere near trace yet, that's for sure. Let me fix my cord. I want it going into the oil. making this into hot process soup. Even though everybody talks about cold process, I'm going to try it. Ooh, that splashed. Try it with hot process. Yeah, it's definitely getting thicker. to a good emulsification and you see it's not leaving its own trail yet so that's not ready but this may be a good time if I was doing a pretty swirl or something I would start separating it out for the colors because it gets, usually gets fast for the trace and then you can't swirl very good big batch so it's uh, kind of close to the bottom. I'm try not to drag it onto the bottom of the pan. Closer. I'm going to go ahead and put it back into the crock pot over here. I took it out so the oil could cool. But I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. Just hang on. Okay. Now, as you can see, I put it in there. I always usually put my whole thing into the sink because I don't want it spilling. It makes it easier to so splash it splashes in the sink. that you 
can tell it's thicker. It's like a kind of like a thin pudding. Trace when it leaves that little leaves lines on the soap and the batter, it leaves its mark basically. I've cleaned my cord and my countertop and stuff just in case I think my cord was sitting in some of the splashed uh, lye soap and I didn't want that so I didn't want it eating away at my, at my, uh, my cord. Now this, this is what I could tell, this is like cooking pudding. See it's got a nice consistency. And I'm going to let this sit about every 15 minutes. I'll check on it and I'll show you what it's doing. What it's doing. There we go. Sorry, I've got allergies. And my nose is playing havoc with me. It runs more than a broken faucet. There we go. And cover this. Okay, and I'll be back in about 15. <laughs> 